Okay, now if you have a system that's a brand new system with mild steel piping, remember this is the third area that's connecting everything together, the heating transfer surfaces along with the cooling tower itself. Now, in the process of building a new facility, uh, often mild steel is utilized, whether it's air conditioning or whether it's refinery, chemical plant, even, even power plants in some cases. But uh, what happens is uh, the mild steel piping is put in, uh, there's been some hydro testing, and it's often stagnant for weeks and sometimes months in utility. And sometimes in nuclear power plants, it's almost for years before it actually starts up operation. This can cause a lot of severe corrosion and iron oxide deposits within the system. What you need to do for solving this on any type of uh, water system, whether it's a small air conditioning system or a large, air condition, large uh, power plant, is that initial water going going in for, for hydro testing should be treated with a combination of an alkaline cleaner and mild steel passivation treatment. Certainly people can utilize a phosphate cleaner combination of about 50 to 100 ppm and leave it in, that, uh, in the piping until the, the system is operational and then of course reduce it down to operating dosages about 20 ppm. But keep that in mind that you can certainly get this type of corrosion and fouling occurring on your steel piping. If that occurs, of course, it's going to prevent corrosion inhibitors from getting to the metal surface. It's going to reduce the velocity going through the flow through those piping, and it's going to carry those corrosion products to the low flow areas and cause every every deposition. So keep that in mind. Looking at some of the mild steel components in your system when you examine it, you should look at it as quickly as you can when you open up your equipment. Uh, in this particular case, we have we have a, a portion of the, the piping uh, is looked at, and it, I like to use a toothbrush and a little bit of water and, and brush it okay. So I don't like to use a knife because it'll, it'll really scratch the surfaces. It won't give you, but this is just a, an idea of pointing towards an area that is nice and bright and clear. It looks like it's very bright metal surface. It is. That means that it's been actually, once we wash the corrosion product off with the toothbrush, that means that that area is active corrosion going on right now. So when you look at a system, wash off that area, if it's bright and shiny like that and you can see the metal surface, you've got active corrosion going right there. The areas that are dark and black, uh, very dark red and hard to get off are old corrosion products, what we call passive corrosion products. So looking at your equipment, it's important to determine whether you've got active corrosion there or whether it's passive. Uh, did it occur years ago and it's no longer active or is it still going on in your system? 